Let us now take a look at some of the events that made news in the Northeast recently. In a major breakthrough, Manipur police recently rescued 148 trafficked girls and arrested six suspected human traffickers. In the first incident, 40 Nepali girls were rescued by a team of Technopal police. A suspected trafficker who was accompanying the rescued girls from More town was also arrested. The girls were reportedly being trafficked to different cities of South Asia and Middle East through Myanmar. The Technopal district police carried out raids on suspected vehicles and hotels in More town after being intimated by an NGO base in Nepal to Delhi Women Commission regarding the trafficking of large number of girls from Nepal for flesh trade. With an aim to improve the financial situation of the people, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh recently distributed a total loan of 4.15 crore rupees to 2,965 persons in the form of share credit linkage, pecari, dairy and poultry under Nabad's area based schemes as well as loans to individuals. Singh, while speaking at the second credit linkage program organized by Manipur State Cooperative Bank at the auditorium of Manipur State from Development Society in Imphal district, stated that the present state government is trying to find out the woes of common people. He said that people are now able to receive treatment free of cost under Chief Minister Gi Hakshel Gi Tengbang and Ayushman Bharat schemes. To curb the distribution of money and violation of moral code of conduct during election, Meghalaya recently organized an awareness program come live product demo of EVMs and VVPAT machine at Shillong Club. In his address, Chief Electoral Officer R. Kargongor said VVPAT was transparent method for masses. This new citizens' vigilance app will allow citizens to upload pictures or videos if distribution of money and violation of moral code of conduct occurs during election. The app will have a geotag feature to certify if the video or photo uploaded on the app is old or not. The election department will also take all necessary steps to combat the malfunctioning of VVPAT. Union Minister of State for Tourism K.J. Alphonse and Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal recently inaugurated the second ASEAN India Youth Summit at Hotel Taj Vivanta in Guwahati. Over 100 youth delegates from Vietnam, Laos, Brunei, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar and Indonesia took part in the summit tagline connectivity. Assam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal said the second ASEAN Indian Youth Summit held in Guwahati will help in developing the region which will be pro belt exclusively by the youth. On his two-day official visit to Nagaland, Lieutenant General M. M. Naravane reviewed the security situation and operational preparedness of the security forces and Assam rifles in the state. Lieutenant General M. M. Naravane, who is the General Officer Commanding-in-Chief of Eastern Command, also visited headquarters of Inspector General Assam Rifles and border locations of Eastern Nagaland to inspect the security situation. In an interaction with the troops of Assam Rifles, the Eastern Army Commander complimented the Assam Rifles for carrying out a commendable job in efficiently managing the security situation in the state. Apart from Assam Rifles Group members, Lieutenant General also held constructive conversation with some prominent members of Naga Civil Society, students, civil administration officials, Gao Buras and ex-servicemen of the state. Social Welfare and Social Education Minister of Tripura, Santana Chakma, recently informed that 80% of verification work of the social pensioners in the state has been completed and the remaining shall be completed soon. According to Chakma, a total of 4,3975 persons were covered under the social pensions under 33 schemes and it was supposed to be updated annually but did not happen and the new government has taken an initiative to update it for the wedding out fake pensioners as well as add those who deserve them.